Welcome back and let's pick up from where we left off. Let's talk more about Rin and Din. Kumusta po kayo? My name is Jay. I am a Filipino and I call Metro Manila in the Philippines my home. If this is your first time seeing this channel, I encourage you to check out the previous videos to keep you up to speed. There had been a number of very important topics that I talked about and checking on them will help you make sense of the lessons that we will be talking about in this particular video. I am providing the links in the description down below, so please do check them out. In my last video, I introduced you to a very important word or words because there's two of them, Rin and Din. These are the Tagalog equivalent of the English adverb also, the Spanish Tambien, and the French Aussie. Before we jump into our discussion, let us review first our simple Tagalog sentence pattern using rin and din. Si Peter ay matalino rin. Si Anne ay estudyante rin. Si Ginang Resurreksyon ay nars din. Si Binibining San Felipe ay director din. You use rin if the word before it ends in a vowel like matalino rin. Also smart or smart too. Estudiante rin, also student or student too. In addition, you use rin if the word before it ends in the consonants W and Y. Why is that? Well, because W and Y, when placed at the end of a word, sounds like a vowel. For example, baliw rin, also crazy or crazy too. Makulay rin also colorful or colorful too. On the other hand, you use din if the word before it ends in a consonant except for W and Y, like nars din, also a nurse or nurse too. Director din, also a director, director too. Now, let's continue with more examples. This time, let's mix things up a bit. Let us use the case marker si and sina with verbs as the predicate. But before that, let me introduce you to the verbs that we are going to be using in these examples. Please note that these verbs are in the present progressive tense. But do not worry about that for now. We are going to tackle verbs in succeeding videos. Just focus on how they are used in our sentence patterns. Let's take a look at our verbs. Tumatakbo, running. Kumakanta, singing. Namamasyal, strolling. Nagsusulat, writing. Nagtatago, hiding. Tumatawa, laughing. Nanonood, watching. Nagmamasid, observing. Here's more. Nagtitinda, selling. Sumisigaw, shouting. Nagpapahinga, resting. Naglalakad, walking. Nagbabantay, guarding. Nagmamaneho, driving. Tumatahol, barking. Lumalaban, fighting. On to our examples. Again, I will not mention the translation. Let's see if you can get the meaning of these sentences. Si Peter ay tumatakbo rin. Si June ay kumakanta rin. Si Marie ay namamasyal din. Si Ariana ay nagsusulat din. Let us try the plural form. Si na Donald at Anton ay nagtatago rin. Si na Tess at Marie ay tumatawa rin. Si na Peter at June ay nanonood din. Sina Ariana at Donald ay nagmamasid din. Unlike adjectives, verbs do not change when used in the plural form. 
Now, let us try using the singular case marker ang with its plural counterpart ang mga with verbs as the predicate. Ang tindera ay nagtitinda rin. Ang bata ay sumisigaw rin. Sumisigaw ends in a W, so we use rin. Ang atleta ay nagpapahinga din. Ang matanda ay naglalakad din. Let's check out the plural form. Ang mga sundalo ay nagbabantay rin. Now, the word nagbabantay ends in a Y. So, we use rin. Ang mga tsuper ay nagmamaneho rin. Ang mga aso ay tumatahol din. Ang mga boksingero ay lumalaban din. Now, let us try using common nouns as predicate. Si Peter ay Amerikano rin. Si June ay Pilipino rin. Si Marie ay Nars din. Si Ariana ay manunulat din. Let's do the plural form. Si na Donald at Anton ay mga abogado rin. Si na Tess at Marie ay mga guro rin. Si na Peter at June ay mga profesor din. Si na Edgar at Ernie ay mga chuper din. Remember I talked about ay mga in the last video. Mga modifies the common noun as a predicate like our lawyers ay mga abogado our teachers ay mga guro our professors ay mga profesor our drivers ay mga chuper now let us try using common nouns as the subject with another common noun as the predicate ang bisita ay americano rin Ang sundalo ay Pilipino rin. Ang aso ay hayop din. Ang bonsai ay halaman din. Ang mga bisita ay mga Amerikano rin. Ang mga sundalo ay mga Pilipino rin. Ang mga aso ay mga hayop din. Ang mga bonsai ay mga halaman din. Let me just explain that in the ang mga form, mga is modifying the subject and not the predicate. All right, we have covered a very important subject in this video. Rin and din can rather be confusing. Believe me, even native Tagalog speakers are sometimes confused as well. I think it is common for native speakers to be confused with their language. I know of some native English speakers who are confused with its and its and loose and loose. I remember when I was attending Japanese classes when our sensei told the class that young Japanese are even confused on how to use wa and ga. Now, if you know Japanese, you know what I'm talking about. If you are in Japan right now, please let me know in the comment section down below if it is still the case. My point is you really have to pay attention to the grammatical rules so that you can be on your way to speaking Tagalog correctly. Well, that's about it. I hope I was able to impart something new to you today. And I would appreciate if you give this video a thumbs up and click on the subscribe button and the bell button so you will be updated of new videos that I will be coming out regularly. I hope to see you again next time as we continue our journey together in learning the beautiful language, Tagalog. Maraming maraming salamat po. At hanggang sa susunod.